Arizona Cardinals, Los Angeles Rams. This is seven, a cheap seven, actually, in favor of the Rams at home over the Cardinals. 48.5 to 49 is your total. Uh, Steven, this is part of a two-leg money line parlay for me. I played the Rams and Eagles in a money line parlay. And if you're wondering, hey, guys, why did you, Matt, why'd you do that? What are, uh, mess around at your book, right? Because it was cheaper to play the money line parlay than it was to play teaser. So that's why I played the money line parlay. It might not be the case at your book of choice or whatever it is, but just, you know, mess around. Always make sure you're getting the, the best price on all this. So I have Rams, Eagles, money line parlay. I think the Cardinals are kind of rounding into what we thought the Cardinals were going to be, right? I mean, like, look, it was a fine story, and sure, they played a little bit better than we thought, and they played better in first halves, but it's not equal in wins. And James Conner's now out for them. Hollywood Brown was hobbled in practice this week. He is going to go, but, like, you know, the Cardinals, I think, are just kind of ending up who we thought they were going to be. It was just kind of a roundabout way of getting there. Uh, the Rams should win this game. That said, I'm not really interested in laying the full seven. So hence the being part of a money line parlay for me. Yeah, I think it's getting expensive on the Rams as well, Matt. I think, um, you know, that is the way I would do it. Either money line parlay or, or just a six point teaser at minus 120. The Arizona Cardinals, you know, we talked the last few weeks when they were kind of um, pesky that maybe the coaching staff is better than we thought. Well, now I've kind of decided I think the offensive coaching staff is better than we thought. Now, they don't have anybody good on defense. Like they're just they don't have any talent there, but it still kind of goes along with the priors of what we thought about Jonathan Gannon when he was the defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles, that they did not perform well against good passing offenses when they faced a good quarterback. Uh, it was a lot tougher for the Eagles defense. And we just didn't see a lot of it last year because the Eagles had a very easy schedule right up until they lost to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. So I think it's a, a pesky offense that could, you know, be annoying for some opponents, but I don't think this defense can really stop anybody. And now Matthew Stafford was already impressive the first month of the season without Cooper Cup. Puka Nakua is just a discovery. And now you get Cup back in the mix as well. I think the Rams are a team that could maybe fight for a wild card spot here now with the seven wild seven teams making the playoffs. So I, I have a lot of trust in this passing offense moving forward. We can talk in future weeks about what the defense provides, but I don't think it's going to be an issue here this week. So yeah, I'm with you here just getting this down to, you know, money line parlay or, or a teaser, and it, it looks pretty solid to me. Adam, the books wasted no time in getting Cooper Cup right back into form here. 86 and a half is your receiving prop on on Cooper Cup in his second week back. But what that did do is it suppressed the Puka Nakua number down to 65 and a half. And then the Tutu Atwell number is down to 35 and a half for this Rams team. So maybe it's not the cup bet. Maybe you're looking more in the Puka Nakua way or maybe even the Tutu Atwell way. So something to think about if you want to bet this an alternative way. Uh, what do you say here about the Cardinals and Rams? This is a strange handicap for me because I I'm not willing to come completely off the Cardinals being frisky. Uh, again, you go back to where they were in that game last week. They really were one or two flipped plays from covering against Cincinnati, at least covering a lot of the early week numbers that had them out near a touchdown. Um, the EPA numbers like them a lot on defense. They have the middle of the pack around 14th in the league, non-garbage time, which it doesn't match up with the eye test, but at the same time, like, they they have been able to keep games close for the most part. So I'm not willing to come off that. But I think the one thing that you can say for sure is that the Rams are back to being a lead on offense. They've been able to get around that offensive line. They're sixth in the league in non-garbage time EPA overall. And that is with only one week Cooper Cup. So I think the move on the total has been right here. 46 up to 48 and a half. There's still a couple 48s on the board. I would find the lowest number that I could uh, and consider an over that's a lean not a play uh, maybe an in-game overplay here if you see a couple of three and out drives at the beginning and you get this thing down a little bit maybe down yeah. to 44 ish then you look at an in-game over because really you've only seen the Rams play one good half of defense this year one period a total of one good half of defense against the Seattle Seahawks in the second half of week one and the Arizona Cardinals have consistently been able to move the football, even if they have not been able to win games. So I do think points are the one thing you can probably count on this game.